Hello, this is Dino Lopez. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create an easy blog based on Ruby on Rails using the Radiant Content Management System using the Heroku technology. Basically, these 10 steps will take us, walk us through all the way to do it in a very, very uh, five minutes or less, um, this easy blog application. But what is the Radiant? Radiant is a content management system. It's, um, it's a project that start inspired on the Ruby on Rails and is been modified, just um, oriented to be a content management for small teams. Um, currently, I believe is the one is using on the Ruby um, website. Heroku, in other hand, is a technology, a start originally as a project where you can actually have a um, full web application, uh, Ruby on Rails applications managed for, f with the browser, and it worked really great, but it's been evolved to a project that actually is a full technology where you can actually, using the Git um, protocol, share your application, upload your application, and keep track of your application. It's been working great. Um, we'll see how it's very easy. Follow the steps, create your keys, and publish and make some uh, Ruby on Rails applications um, scalable and accessible. A while back, some of the folks at Heroku put a uh, recipe to create a semi uh, content management system in five minutes or, or less, and basically describe the steps by steps. However, due to upgrades and different releases on Radiant, this is not working quite the way it's supposed to be. So the purpose of this uh, screencast is to show you how to do it with the latest and greatest version of Radiant. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is see the requirements. This is going to be using Ruby, Rails, Gems, RSpec, Radiant, and Heroku. For the purposes of speed, I just put the commands here. Ruby is 1.86. This is the version, the command. The Rails version in this screencast is using 2.3.2. The gem version 1.3.2. Um, we see our spec 1.2.7, Radiant 0 0.80, and the version of Heroku, the latest is one. I can see I have installed another one. Uh, I can probably need to remove it. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and we f we comply the requirements. Let's go ahead and do the the first command, which is basically creating a Radiant application using the SQLite database is going to be called Easy Block. So if I just pass this one, immediately just does it. Let's go to change to that directory. We can see there's some files created. The next command is going to be the reg db bootstrap. If you follow the instructions that appear in the menu, it will. That's what it's going to explain, and it's going to do his, do his job. And, and this time it's going to ask us if we want to destroy data in the database. Sure, we're just starting. And he does a bunch of stuff. Administrator, let's see, Dino's. And now I want to use the coffee team blog. I really like the, I really like the way it looks. It looks very professional, very intuitive. One of the changes on the on this new version is this. This is the part of a. It's going to make it make the magic work with Heroku. It's the cache. And we need to edit the environment the RB. But close on this line on fifty one is will typically is this the same line but now we're gonna add it using the, the cache. Cache that Heroku will understand. You probably don't have to do this if you have a, a deployment in your local machine or some other BPS, but uh, for Heroku we need it. That's one of the things that I wanted to point out in this tutorial or a screencast. I want to copy. We need to create a gems file for Heroku. The gems, and we add the current version of our spec in Radian just to do the test. It's part of the things when you upload your application, it's going to upload it, it's going to test it, and it's going to deploy it. We need to go for some commands, basic command like git init. Here we go, and now this this gem, what it's going to do is actually 
Heroku create, it's going to go to the Heroku repository and it's going to create a, a, a URL, a site, that actually is going to be for us. If I copy this one, we can reference later. Take this out. Here we go. Actually, if we go to a browser right now, we can see the Heroku, your new, welcome to your new web application. So now, now that we create an application, let's add all the files that we have in our repository, in our Git repository. We add them all, and we tell commit with the message first, easy block commit, commit on Radiant Heroku. What is my last? Here we go. And it does it. Now we need to git push Heroku master. And this is going to use the git protocol, connects directly to the new applications, upload our application, test our application, and deploy it. Base it on what we have on the Git repository. Base it on the .gems file. Um, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. You don't have to worry about nothing, but just do the Git push, and it's basically going to do it. At this point, it's launching it. It just uh, uploaded. It. It's done. And now <clears throat> we like to make sure that we have the data for database because we create a user and a password so right here we do the Heroku DB push push and it's automatically going to take the SQLite schemas that we create for block and upload it right away and that's it that's pretty much it copy the URL that you were provided um, just paste it in your browser and voila there's the basic, there's the vanilla coffee, um, roasters coffee, the default radiant. And if we go to Heracool and see the applications that we have running, there it is. We can actually see that in a web-based interface, we can change the name or do something else. Of course, we can have a fully functional. I can come back here and go to the admin interface and log in and interact and modify absolutely everything in my application. There it goes. Hopefully you found it interesting. Uh, keep uh, using emerging technologies. Love, love Ruby, love Rails, love Linux. Um, thank you, guys.